Many people think that driving just over the speed limit makes no difference to road safety. If you're in control, a competent driver, and the road ahead looks clear, why is marginal speeding against the law? This video demonstrates that even a small increase in speed can make a big difference. What we have is an exercise set out with two cones to mark where I should start braking and a cardboard cutout of Anna, who I hope I won't be hitting. Now obviously, as a racing driver, I'm used to hitting the brakes at the same spot, but this test doesn't include that vital reaction time, that time it takes us to wake up to the fact that Anna has stepped off the pavement, the time it takes us to get off the throttle and onto the brakes. This is just the braking distance variation at small speed increases. To check I'm doing the right speeds, we've got a police safety camera van and its operator, Glyn Hollinshead. So Glyn, what exactly is the technology inside your van? I've got a laser device in there that I use to check the speed of the vehicles and a camera fitted to it that films everything that I point the laser at. But how accurate is that result within a tenth of a second? It's absolutely accurate, far more accurate than your speedometer. Ooh. Well, you'll be checking my speed and I'll be hoping not to hit Anna. Okay, I've had my speedometer checked and calibrated. I've got the cruise control on doing exactly 30 miles an hour. At this stage, I don't know Anna's about to jump out in front of me. I've got to wait until the marks, until the cones, before she suddenly jumps out! Hello, Anna. Glad to see you're still standing. Now, they tell me that if I raise that cruise control by just two miles an hour to make it 32, I'm gonna hit Anna's kneecaps. Now, I can't believe two more miles an hour. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're right. Now, knowing I hit Anna's knees at 32, I'm not sure I want to do this. Three more miles an hour. This is still only 35 miles an hour. 35 doesn't sound that fast. Not Anna for six, though, that's for sure. Now, I don't really want to do this. I go five miles an hour more, do 40 in a 30, and this is what it's going to do to Anna. an awful lot of damage. What you've just seen demonstrates the effect of speed on your stopping distances in urban areas. 